Hi, this is Amanda from Barocco, and I'll be demonstrating how to work the drop stitch used in Kabak, our free vest pattern using Barocco Versa. So I just finished working my last row of ribbing before we're ready to switch to stockinette and work the setup row for the new pattern stitch. You can see that as I was working across my ribbed area, I worked normal ribbing through here and then bound off the four stitches that will be directly below um, the drop stitch and then continued working to the other edge. And my little sample swatch has just one extra stitch on either edge, but when you work it in the actual vest pattern, you will have more stitches on either side. So this is just for demonstration purposes for showing the um, stitch pattern. Now I'm ready to work my setup row, which is going to um, put a yarn over on top of the spot where I had previously bound off stitches and get me ready to continue working the stitch pattern. So I'll work my edge stitch and now I'm ready to make one which I do by going through the bar below putting it onto my other needle and then working it through the back loop knitting it. Then I want to knit three and then knit two together and now I'm going to yarn over bring my yarn to the front and then I'm going to SSK which is the opposite slant of a knit two together so it gives a nice edge to either side of that finished drop then I'll knit three more stitches and then make one and then complete the row. So that was the setup row and you can see now I have that yarn over so that um, when we eventually drop the stitches it won't go past that point. For all the wrong side rows you just want to purl all of the stitches. So now I'm going to purl back across and I will come back when I'm ready to start the next row. I just finished purling across all of my stitches so now I'm ready to work another right side row and this is the right side row that you're going to continue repeating until um, the stitch pattern is has gone as far as you want it to go. So I will once again work my edge stitch and then make one just like I did before knit three knit two together and then instead of doing yarn over I'm just going to knit one and then SSK then knit three and work another make one and complete the row. So I'll continue alternating um, working purl stitches on the wrong side row and then repeating that row we just finished on every right side row until my swatch is the length that I want it. And this is what your fabric will look like. There will not be any open place yet because we haven't dropped that stitch, but you can still see that big yarn over and the four bound off stitches down at the bottom. And you know that the stitch that we're going to drop will be the one directly above that that was created from that yarn over. So now I'm ready to bind off and drop that stitch. So I will start out binding off as normal until I reach the center stitch. Okay, I'm now at the center stitch and I'm ready to drop it, so I just slide it off my needle and let it run. Then I can go ahead and continue binding off as normal. And once I've finished binding off, then I can help that stitch run all the way down. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.